Yes, hello, this is Raja Musammil presenting here Special Education and you are on my channel LSE Learning Special Education. So today we have the basic concern with the topic of types, degrees and causes of hearing impairment with the authentic source of Deafness Foundation. Uh, in this first part we will just learn about uh, types and degrees of hearing impairment and in the second part we will learn about the causes of hearing impairment with respect to degrees and types of hearing loss. So uh, before going to the video if you haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe it and press the bell icon and if you think so this video is going to be helpful for you give it a thumbs up and uh, if, if you will have any kind of question or suggestion for me uh, you can ask and tell me in the comment section below. So let's move on towards our video. So first of all here we have the structure of an ear. Um, we have the three basic part of an ear. Um, the first is, is outer ear, the second one is, is middle ear and the third one is inner ear. So um, outer ear contains auditory canal or ear canal. Uh, ear drums are in the portion of uh, middle ear and in the inner ear we have ossicles and auditory nerve so uh, you have to focus on these four basic parts ear canal ear drums ossicles and auditory nerve so according to these basic parts we will learn the types of uh, hearing losses so first of all here we have types of hearing impairment first we have here is conductive hearing loss the second one is here is sensory neural hearing loss the third one is here is mixed hearing loss and the fourth one is here is auditory neuropathy so first we have here is conducting hearing conductive hearing loss so um, in one word I will say that the conductive hearing loss um, is basically concerned with the outer ear or middle ear so this kind of um, loss is maybe uh, because of damage or blockage in the um, outer or middle ear or outer as well as middle ear so this may cause uh, some kind of is issues um, for transmission of sound from canal to auditory nerve and uh, brain so uh, this is all about the outer ear or middle ear and um, you can say that uh, outer ear uh, and middle ear both so um, conductive hearing loss is just all about outer ear and middle ear so at the next we have here is sensory neural hearing loss so sensory neural hearing loss uh, you can say that the damage or malfunctioning of the inner ear um, mean to say that um, it may have a problem with hair cells uh, those are responsible for transmitting sounds uh, to the brain so or maybe have a problem with cochlea so uh, with uh, with the problem of inner ear you can say that uh, this is kind of sensory neural hearing loss and this is permanent so uh, you need to focus on per permanent so um, in conductive hearing loss um, this may be a temporary uh, hearing loss but in sensory neural hearing loss you will have the permanent hearing loss um, so these are the basic differences between uh, both of them at the third we have here is mixed hearing loss so um, you can see in the word mixed so you will have both um, problems and systematic conditions with um, conductive hearing loss as well as sensory neural hearing loss so if you have both um, problems if you have both losses you will be considered in the category of uh, mixed hearing loss so um, the sensory neural hearing loss will be permanent uh, and the conductive hearing loss uh, might be temporary so uh, this is the third part uh, the, uh, the third category of uh, hearing losses uh, the fourth we have here is uh, auditory neuropathy so um, 
with uh, if you will have uh, any kind of problem with auditory nerve you have to focus on this word auditory nerve transmitting the signals from the cochlea to the brain so auditory uh, nerve um, you have watched in the in in the last uh, diagram of ear the structure of an ear uh, you will see that at the end of the ear we have the auditory nerve so if you will have any kind of problem with auditory nerve uh, it may have a problem uh, of transmission of sound uh, from outer ear to middle ear and in the inner ear uh, the auditory nerve will not transmit the sound to the brain so uh, this is the fourth category of a hearing loss so um, degrees of hearing impairment so um, Deafness Foundation uh, talk about these all things of the degrees of hearing impairment so we have the four major types of hearing impairment first is um, mild hearing loss the second one is here is moderate hearing loss the third one is here is severe hearing loss and the fourth one is here is profound hearing loss so uh, we will talk this thing uh, individually so first of all here we have the mild hearing loss if you have mild hearing loss you will have uh, a problem with slow and faint sounds um, but will not have a problem with normal uh, uh, conversation with a normal speed so you will have just a uh, problem uh, to hear the, the faint and slow sounds so this is uh, considered as the mild hearing loss uh, the second number we have here is moderate hearing loss so you can see here uh, the moderate hearing you will struggle to hear and understand speech when someone uh, is talking at a normal level so you will have a problem if, if someone is talking at the normal level or uh, if a person is conversating um, uh, normally you will have a problem to hear uh, but uh, you can uh, uh, hear but cannot be able to understand it might, this might be the condition so uh, you will have um, a problems and issues uh, in normal speaking in, 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 in normal speaking and understanding you will not be able to understand the normal level of pitch the normal level of volume um, the normal speech rate so um, this will be considered in the moderate hearing loss and at the third number we have here is severe hearing loss so in severe hearing loss if a person has hearing hearing loss he will hear little to no speech so you have to focus on this word little to no speech when spoken at normal levels and hear only some loud sound so um, as hearing as we are hearing, hearing loss a person uh, will not be able to uh, hear completely or he will have a little ability to hear but he will not be able to understand the normal uh, speech uh, but he can hear the sound of loud um, and uh, loud voices or loud sound or uh, loud noise so he will be able to hear the loud music uh, loud music I uh, mean to say that loud sounds but he will not be able to understand or hear uh, the normal conversating uh, speech rate and speech volume and pitch this is sphere hearing loss and at the profound we have here uh, this is very easy to understand you may have only hear you may only hear very loud sounds and no speech at all so you will not be able to listen or hear the speeches the speech sound the normal speech sound the level of normal speech so he will just um, be able to listen the the most loud sounds um, just and loud sounds but not uh, the normal sounds so these are the four categories of uh, four uh, degrees of um, 
hearing impairment and previous we have talked about the types of hearing uh, losses so hope so uh, you have understood all the things um, about uh, the types and degree and if you have, you'll have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment section below I will answer you as soon as possible and if you haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe it and press the bell icon and if you think so this uh, video is helpful for you give it a thumbs up bye bye